Star Wars The Last Jedi is written and directed by Ryan Johnson and stars Daisy Ridley, John Boyega, Oscar Isaac, Adam Driver, Mark Campbell, the late and great Carrie Fisher, and so many others I may as well be reading the cast list for Avengers Infinity War. Yes, the Star Wars cast list is about that long. Oh, but by the way, this is the spoiler review. Well, it's spoilers at least. So, uh, you, you may want to stop the video here, go to the movie theater, and come back later. You'll thank me. <laughs> so, how to describe The Last Jedi? Hmm. Well, to put it simply, um, non spoiler terms, The Last Jedi is to Star Wars. As Logan was to the Edson film franchise, it, it's a game changer. Also, like Logan, Star Wars The Last Jedi was, is my favorite film of 2017. They're both tied with each other. Um, Ryan Johnson has done, done something incredible. He's combined multiple film genres. Sci-fi, like, like Battlestar Galactica, with, like... A western theme, a samurai film, and, um, well, while well using the entirety of bad drop of Star Wars. Now, what do I mean by all this? I'm gonna bring it down into three or four sections. Let's go. Um, okay, first off, let's start with the opening crawl. The first, uh, I'm gonna paraphrase here. The first order. Reigns ha having decimated the peaceful poet Supreme Leader Snoke, and when deploys his merciless legions to seize military control of the galaxy, only General Leia Organa's band of resistance fight. I still think that I still think it should be rebel rebellions, re rebels. Stupid that they change it to resistance. <laughs> um. Uh, stand against the rising tyranny uh, um, certain that Jedi Master who Skywalker will return and restore Spark home to the fight. Okay, um, just an uh, observation here. I noticed in the theater that, that not in the theater, I noticed, I know, I know this mo movie is it, Directly after, um, Force Awakens. So there's no time jump, but still, they could have done a better job with this. Open and crawl. Ugh. Okay, so, what well, I mean by three or four sections. Well, um, first off, um, each of the new characters, Ray, Pin, Ray, Poe, and Finn, um, um, ha have like, they're on like mini arc. I may as well start with Poe and work my way down or up. Um, anyway, um, Poe's arc is like what I said earlier the Battlestar Galactica type arc. And by Battlestar Galactica, I mean the 2004. Mini series as in TV series, which if you've seen the first episode of season one, which if you have not seen Metal Strike Galactica, I highly recommend that you do. It's really cool. Um, but the first episode is called 33, and basically the Cylons are chasing the um, co colonial fleet through space jumping like like the resistance jumps to a safe haven and then, and then 33 minutes later the Cylons show up Poe's arc has that same principle they jump to sa safe ha haven you know a safe haven um, but they're running out of fuel and then the and then the um First order was up, and um, 
I actually really enjoyed this um, part because n- number one, it gave us our our first proper, I mean, seriously proper space battle in Star Wars. The prequels don't count because I think I think they were because they were over planets. Anyway, um, I'll get into the new characters later. Admiral Hall. Oh no, I'm looking at you. Um, anyway, this is. This whole, like, pole arc, battle star arc thing is really cool. It's like. It's like. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm nerding out here. <laughs> okay, let's jump to the. Um. Ray and Luke arc, which I'm gonna call the Logan arc, because Ray goes to. Atoll, the planet from the end of the movie where Luke's been hanging out for 30 years. And, um, he he and, like, Logan is grizzled and war-weary, and he's like, no, I'm not gonna teach you. And then, he, and then, like, and then, like, hold the... And and I and I'll just get into Luke's character really quick. I mean, I understand like it's been been thirty years and he's like upset about you know, like you know, like basically like letting kind of run turn to the dark side. But you think he would be a little happy? <laughs> it's like oh my god, it's like. Oh man, Luke. <laughs> oh man, Logan. Oh man. <laughs> uh, um, the 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 choices Ryan Johnson makes with Acto the the, the in the old Jedi Temple, it, it the choices he makes are extraordinary. The visual cues he does the. The, the little de- the little details he puts in the planet the creatures the, like even the like even the details he puts in the planet's water is extraordinary and uh, uh, um if you look c- close um you can see Luke's old its wing in the ocean if you look really close. Okay, let's talk about the controversial arc of this movie. Um, uh, Finn and Rose's uh, uh, arc, which I call the um, which I I call the um, uh, Tortuga. <laughs> Eric, um, it's probably the most controversial one with fans, but in my personal opinion, it's the most important arc of the, of the film. So, um, basically, in order to get the, um, in order to get the tracking scene off the fleet, Finn and Rose had to jump over over to Smoot's um um Stern Destroyer Dreadnought ship his command ship and in it order to b- break the you know the uh the shield barrier around the ship they had to go to Kanto Bight which is the planet to to enlist a hacker called a, a slicer in order to crack the in- encryption um and the um and where they get the Im- information from is uh Matt Kanana Lupita Nyong'o's character from The Force Awakens which I I which I honestly think she was un, unnecessary for this film. Um, cause she's like in that one scene and then she's done. Um, but 
Anyway, back to Canto Bite. Um, the reason I call it the most important arc in this whole film, it actually, I think that it's the most important arc in, in the whole new trilogy, as it gives um, a um, as it gives a more dark event story to the first order. Like, 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 they basically, like, basically, that planet is, like, a First Order supporter planet. That planet's basically built on gambling and all, all sorts of crap, we weapons de dealing, and basically, the, they so owned to the First Order, and th that's what makes this art the most important, and then Finn and Ro Rose and BB destroy the planet, and um, basically kind of cr crippled the uh, first order a tiny bit, and then uh, and, and then uh, let's get back to the Luke and Ray uh, story a minute. Luke is like, th that whole arc is like, L Logan, Luke is like, L Logan, and like, you know, the last Wolverine film, as he's grizzled, he's beaten, he's weathered, but he has like, one more, more mission in, in him, because Ray asked for his help, and, and and what they do with Luke, I won't spoil it. But what they do with Luke is absolutely extraordinary. And there's a couple cameos in there that I will not spoil because they are freaking awesome. Um, but but anyway, I was the last Jedi. Is the this Star Wars film in the, <laughs> in, the, in the history of Star Wars films because Ryan Johnson has given Carrie Fisher Princess Leia Force abilities which thank you Ryan Johnson you have proved many of Star Wars fans theories that that way also has force powers. Whew. Um. Now, now I'm gonna talk about Kay Fisher, not in Princess Leia here, here for a minute. The way they, the way they, in the film, I don't know how they're gonna ha handle Kay Fisher in nine. In episode nine, there has to be a time jump. There has to, because the way they, the way they, end her, the way they end the movie with her, there has to be a time jump. I'm not gonna go into any more spoilers than that. But okay, um, I'm gonna move into the new characters and then wrap this review up. Okay, for, first off. Rose, people, people hate Rose for some reason. Um, uh, <laughs> um, I don't know why. Um, I honestly liked her. I, I mean, I mean, I mean, her character was awesome, and it gave and it, it gave a more like citizen perspective, you know, normal, average person perspective to Star Wars in, to this film in parti particular, and then I'm, next, I'll talk about Admiral Ho Hondo, Warren Dern's character, god, I, I did not, I, I did not, I did not enjoy her character at all. 
Um, basically, if you've seen the last two Hunger Games films, Laura Dern's character is like, um, Julian Moore's character in the last two Hunger Games film, um, President Coin, she is just used for, like, prepare, pro, propelling the story for and it's, it's bad. The last character I'm going to talk about and then this review will be done, um, is Benicio Del Toro's character DJ, the, the main splasher they Finn and Rose in the Resist Hire. He is going... He is an interesting character. I kind of want to see like a whole Kanto Banks, um, like, film, you know, like, like, I wouldn't mind seeing, like, you know, like, an underworld of the, the ga galaxy tank film thing, like, multiple planets. Oh, and let me cover this one thing. What they do with Ky Kylo Ren, he is instructed. Adam Driver, I, I did not like Ky Kylo Ren in, in, in Force Awakens, but Adam Driver, you are amazing, my, my friend. And Supreme Leader Snoke, Andy, Sir, Andy Circus, you are probably the one of the greatest actors of all time. But Snoke is evil. He is he is kind of half developed in eight, and then he's just gone. Um. Um. I cannot remember if. Snoke used for lightning or not? I'm pretty sure he did, but I'm not totally sure. Um, and uh, let me co cover the, this one thing. There are two other things actually. Um, Porgs, not number one, are adorable. Not number two. There's a scene where Luke goes aboard the Millennium Falcon and which is perfect. There's this scene between Luke and Leia towards the very end of the film which is just absolute perfection. It's 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 a flawless scene. Um and um this is my cl my closing. Um Ryan Johnson has done something uh, amazing with the Star Wars film. It's divided a lot of fans. Um, I'm on the side of what Ryan Johnson did was good. A lot of fans didn't disagree. Um, uh, I think it's a game changer. And if I were to grade Star Wars The Last Jedi, I'd give it an A+. And two thumbs up. Okay, guys, that was fun. Um, this is not a different room. This is actually, um, um, a different section of, of a room. I mean, I'm actually going to keep recording this section. I like it. Okay, guys, um, thank, thank you so much for watching. If you like this review, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button right there in the corner. The little... What watermark thing? Um, and until the next video, guys, see you soon. <laughs>